truck arrived today at the action figure cave. Just as I thought I would be alone for the unboxing, I decided to invite Griffin, to our dog. But as you can see, he's way too excited for an unboxing. So I'm gonna have to do it myself. See you guys in a moment. The box made it to the action figure cave without any dog drool on it. That was very interesting. But the kids are in school and dog is still waiting for the FedEx man to come back. And your host, Michael, is here to unbox this. So stick with me and let's get this out of the box. First thoughts of the packaging, honestly, I love it. It's the, you can't go wrong with Finch Collection packaging, especially when you have the Mandalorian in this Finch Collection packaging. It just, it looks beautiful. So I would wait until the boys got home from school to open it, but they have after school activities and sports and stuff. So I wanna get this open out of the box right now. Here is the Imperial Troop Transport out of its box. And you know, actually live before when I said my first reaction of the uh, box, um, was you know the box art and the box art is beautiful but i was said to myself wow this thing is small be a little bigger than the imperial tank you know i'll take that out in a little bit to do a size comparison yeah it's definitely on the small side uh, i would have paid a little more money for for a bigger one let's get a closer look so here is a closer look of the imperial troop transport and despite its smaller size this thing looks really cool. I love the paint on it. Got some nice uh, weathering on the back and the sides. Some more weathering in the front. Nice paint. Got some nice brown dirt marks. Pretty cool. This gun here was uh, obviously comes off, and turns. So it is movable guns. So just, I, I do love it. I mean, it's the paint alone. Look at that, I mean, great, great weathering. It was like sand and dirt all over it. Some more nice detailing right there. So I say this, you know, it's really small. And this one thing would be incredible if it was, if it was bigger. Uh, but I guess they want to, you know, keep the price point down, I guess. Okay, so here is the transport with all its doors open. And we'll, we'll take a look at the, close look at the cockpit in a little bit. So we have a uh, back door opens here. And obviously you could fit a ton of stormtroopers in there, which is really cool. And obviously the two side doors on the front open, which shows the cockpit and then there's a open door here on the top. Here's the inside of the cockpit. I have the flash on the camera so I'm not sure if it's going to be a little blurry but at least we get a little better picture of the inside. I have some stickers here that were, I came with the ship, on the ship. I didn't have to put them on which is good because I'm not a fan of stickers, putting stickers on because I never get them on straight. So some really good detailing in here. I even like the fact that the top part here, which we, you know, don't see much, even has the same detailing as the rest of the cockpit. And here comes the other side. And 
there is detailing here, a sticker right here, and on the inside of the door you can see some weathering, what you want to call it, more really nice weathering right here on the inside of the door, so it has a really easy it's really knocking their vehicles out of the park with the detailing. And if you got the skiff, you know what I'm talking about with all the weathering and stuff. So here's the transport with the top off. And the top comes off pretty easy. You just you, know, you just kind of just pull it off here. I mean, it's a click to click it back on, but it's it comes off very easy. And actually, you know, they even have detailing on the on the top part that comes off, so that's nice. There's the inside of it. And pretty much the same kind of detailing you have on the cockpit. That's where the troopers sit or stand. And then even even that, I mean, I'm trying to capture that, but I don't know if you can see over here. You can see how it's, you know, it has a nice effect. Kind of looks like paneling. Yeah, here's a more close up of the of the paint. Wow. And there's more and closer up books. There's a lot of weather in here. As I was putting trying to put troopers in there, I noticed that these seats fold down, which is pretty cool. So you can have some stormtroopers sitting down as well. It's like these two here on this side come down. This one does not come down. I try this is the same thing on that one on that side here. But the others will have that. the two chairs over here. So besides putting the troopers standing on the outside, you can put them on the inside. And then this is cool man. You can fit a lot of troopers in this thing. So The inside view of the front. And there's some cool detailing in there that I didn't show. And you can probably see that's where the cockpit is for that little window. All right, stormtrooper time. I got a transport full of troopers. Before I get into that, I just wanted to, to mention that on the inside and the front, I mean, you can hang rifles on it. So that is really cool. I think you could at least fit at least eight in there. So you probably could put five on top. I only have three in it now and I have, you could put a few more on the bottom. They hang on pretty good. So that's definitely very exciting. So here's all the troopers inside. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of Rogue One Stone Troopers open and as many as I want. So I do fill it up with few other troopers. So let's take a look at the front first. I have a couple tank pilots from Rogue One piloting the transport. It's really cool. They fit in there really nice. I like how you just could swirl around so you can get your trooper in there nicely. There's a lot of room to fit to. And they hold on to the steel wheel, whatever you want to call it, pretty well. Here are my Rogue One Troopers, I'm pretty good. There's a Trooper from the Han Solo movie. And inside we have Luke and Han Solo and Stone Trooper Disguise and they both are sitting down and they fit very comfortable in there. I don't, I didn't try to fit other sides. So it might be a tight squeeze in there and I'll try to get them in Try to get it like maybe snow troop or something in there, but I do have a basketball practice tonight. Well, Dylan has basketball practice tonight, and I gotta get there soon, so uh, I could be here all night playing with this thing. You know what I mean? Here's a scarf trooper. So, yeah. And then in the back here, I do have K3PO, and if you're wondering why K3PO is in there, if you haven't already, go check out my. Unboxing of the Battle of Genosis. K3PO makes an appearance there. 
he likes to volunteer. So let's take a look at the front now. Well, it's closed. I do like the fact that you can still see troopers in there. Can't really capture it on the, on the camera, but you can see troopers through the, the open area here too. There it is. From a distance, looking really cool. So here it is, closed with all the troopers on the outside. It's a really nice ship. And there's K3PO. So I have out the Vintage Collection tank from Rogue One, just for a comparison. Let's take a look at the size comparison first. Uh, it looks like the transport's a little longer. Not much. The tank's a little wider and the transport is higher. So both of them are great vehicles and I think I'll probably display them together on the shelf. Here is the displayed with the Mandalorian ATST that came out a few months ago. I probably get all three of these on one shelf and some lighting and a whole bunch of troopers and make a really cool display. So final thoughts on this awesome vehicle is I do really like it. The detail on it you know, makes it really pop. It's gonna look great on display with the Imperial tank. I wish it was a little bigger. I looked at pictures online of the 1979 vintage vehicle and I think this one's a lot bigger. So from that perspective, the size ain't bad. The price point's a little high, but that's what you're gonna get with these vintage collection vehicles. I mean, you're paying for the, for the box art and you're paying for the detail. I know this will probably come down in price over the next couple of months, but I didn't want to wait for it and I wanted to, to get it get it soon and, and box it. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. For now, have a great rest of the week and go get yourself some vintage collection vehicles.